and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Bugler that we're going to be playing in Historic Ranked over here. Um, we're building a deck kind of around Militia Bugler. I was, um, as you see, we're, we're playing some Abzan Legends later on, and I was just kind of looking at some Historic cards and kind of came across Militia Bugler, and I was like, oh yeah, Militia Bugler, that was a fun card. And then I kind of thought, well, I was thinking like, what what the new set would go well with Militia Bugler? Because I already I already wanted to do Charming Prince, Ravenous Chupacabra, so I, was, I had my mind on White Black because I wanted to do Charming Prince, Ravenous Chupacabra stuff, and I was like, oh, Militia Bugler finds both of those. And then I was like, whoa, Murderous Rider. Murderous Rider from the new set is something you can hit off of Militia Bugler, put in your hand, and then you have, you know, the Swift End. So you, you can dig for Swift End, you can dig for Chupacabra. Um, I was like, that's that sounds pretty sweet. So decided to, decide that we were going to put something together with those. Hey, what's up, Irvin? And, uh, you know, then, then like, where do we really go from there? There wasn't, like, a, a whole bunch of, like, good, like, two drops in, like, white and black. Uh, you know, we could go, like, the discard route, um, you know, with Burglar Rat and stuff like that. Or we could have, uh, was it Vicious Conquistador for, like, the draw card. Uh, but then, you know, kind of decided to go with the Explore Package. Because everything in the Explore Package is grabbable um, by Militia Bugler with Branch Walker, Jade Light Ranger, Wild Growth Walker. And so kind of just went went that route, you know. So we'll just splash green for the Explore Package, basically. Um and so, yeah, we're just building a deck around Militia Bugler. Fauna Shaman, another great card that Bugler can find, and then Fauna Shaman can, can help you, um, you know, change whatever, you, you know, discard cards and get you other cards. It's possible I need more Fauna Shamans in here. Um, we'll kind of see. The only card that I have that's not a Bugler hit is Midnight Reaper, but I think this is just an important card against uh, decks with a lot of removal. So we got a Midnight Reaper in here. Soren, of course, kind of helps hold this all together. Also, bringing all of our stuff back, giving our creatures lifelink. And with the Wow Growth Walker gaining a lot of life, Soren letting us gain a lot of life, we got our top end of Command the Dread Horde and Bolas Citadel. Uh, that's our, our top end here for the deck. Um, sideboard, we get a lot of nice options, too, that Bugler can find. Uh, we have... Uh, I have a couple more Midnight Reapers for the control matchups to give us more... Uh, a card that's another another great card against sweepers. We have Plague Mare that you know could do some stuff against small creature aggro decks um, or even you know edge wall innkeeper decks stuff like that. This you can find this with Bugler, uh, Knight of Autumn of course destroy some artifacts and enchantments. Um, a fourth Ravenous Chupacabra against creature decks. A Tristani if they're trying to steal our stuff or even if they're just an, an aggro deck where we want that this thing that's a good blocker. This is also findable from Bugler or Fauna Shaman. We get a Find Finality that can bring stuff back, some duresses, and we, we have a deck. So let's let's give this a try. A lot of cool little value cards in here. Let's see how this does. So we're gonna play some traditional historic ranked. Let's see how this does. Yeah, it did not do too well with Mono Red. Uh, we lost a lot of die rolls, and our opponents had awesome hands. And we were just, you know, we we're just losing. Um, it's not necessarily that it's not well positioned, because we played the we played the exact same deck last week, and we went seven and two. You know, <laughs> we played it today, we went two and seven. There's there's just a lot of variance in best of one. Um, yeah. Mulligan. Keep. We'll get rid of a Woodland Cemetery. So the Explore creatures help, can help us hit land drops also. Oh no. So this matchup... I probably don't have enough hate for this this matchup. We have like our two Command the Dread Hordes. That's kind of like what we would really like to find. But it's possible I don't have enough hate here. They're all about uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast, which is pretty devastating as well.
Hopefully they don't have anything to grab stuff back from their graveyard right now, and they can't get that Kethis back. Kendis, do you want to be a mod? Yeah, Urza, the, Urza's, the Urza's Runus Blast Exile is very bad for our, for our plan, for sure. I want this card. Can I get that card? So they're going Emery, huh? We don't have any artifacts over there. All right, we want to hit land drops. And look for look for Citadel. Or not Citadel, sorry. Um, Dreadhorde. Yeah, Necrolepsy, do you want to be a mod? You can be a mod too. Tilt. You will be excellent research. They have Tamiya that, that does get back Kethis. So certainly happy there's no more Mox Ambers in the graveyard right now. But definitely possible I didn't put in enough uh, sideboard hate against this deck. have two cards in hand. Maybe they don't have another Kethis or Tamiyo. They have two Tami three Tamios in the graveyard, only one Kethis in the graveyard. Need more lands. There's land. We got our six lands, so now all we need to do is find Command the Dread Horde. I couldn't kill the Ashiok even with. Wait, why won't they kill the 3 2? Oh, because they have two of those.
Oh, leave me double green. Nope. Going infinite. Tilt. <laughs> Not infinite anymore. Uh, so if I attack... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, if I attack Ashiok, I don't... I can't kill them next turn. Right, because I attack Ashiok, they gain 2, but they take 2, so they stay at 15. And then I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with this thing being 14. I'm one off of killing them next turn. But attacking Ashiok means that if they draw Urza's Ruinous Blast, they can't play it. Or I just go for killing them next turn. We'll just go for killing them next turn. Hopefully they draw a brick. Draw a land, please. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, John. John Player, sorry about that. Okay, so Legion's End is pretty nice here because Diligent Excavator. Like, it's good to exile that. We didn't really see Lazav from them. It seemed like they were playing Emery instead of Lazav. But we can exile Fibblethip also. Let's get that. Let's... Um... I mean, I guess duress. I guess. I don't think Soren's going to be as useful if I'm playing Ashiok, getting rid of my graveyard. Maybe want this fourth troop. Oh, yeah. I guess it's not possible to exile Fibblethip, because whenever you target it, that doesn't work. Right, right. They could be playing like Kaya's Wraths or Time Wipes after sideboard. And then I'll be sad that I took out Midnight Reaper. But I'm kind of just expecting Urza's Ruinous Blast and Midnight Reaper not doing as much. They scried at the top, at least I thought they scried at the top with the temple, and so I just waited a turn to duress to <clears throat> see if they had something that we could take. Okay. 
I hope they have another creature so I get to Chupacabra another creature and they they don't have just like a planeswalker that I got rid of my murderous rider now. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I guess it's not a very important creature to Chupacabra, though. Trust me, I have a plan. I have a, a lot more important creatures to Chupacabra. You don't want to bounce my Murderous Rider? But why not? Glad they haven't had a di diligent excavator this whole time. They would have milled over a lot of cards. A diligent excavator. Yuck. That's more like it. So I'm at twenty. So we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> yeah, me too, Sir Eccles. Done the hero thing before. Who's the one playing cat this combo now? I think I'm supposed to play... Oh, no. Ugh, that would have been great to sit at all those. I was going to say, I think I'm supposed to play the Wild Growth Walker Jade Light Ranger first. And gain some life here before we sit at all. Makes it harder for them to ruin his blast. They don't have the legendary creatures or planeswalkers in play, so we want to kill Teferi. Plus, Teferi could have bounced the Kathis back to their their hand, right on which is look, looks like what it's going to do I here. Well, I'm glad I saved the Choop. I 
I just want to play my Citadel. Hey, what's up, Rochian? I'm doing great. The, the Pikachu. The Pika, Pikachu Cabra. Pikachu Pacabra. That's the ravenous name. It's a Pikachu Pacar. Pika. Ah, uh, I give up. Okay, so I can grab Kethis to ferry. That's not spectacular. Let's. Oh, wait, I don't want to play the land from here. So, yeah, this is fine. Murderous Rider. So, it cost me five life. Down to three. Down to two. They're, of course, dead here. We're just kind of having some fun. as far as we can go. And then, you know, we could activate the Citadel to do another 10. Okay. Well. Good showing for the deck for the very first time playing it. Good showing. Taking care of Kethis combo. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, establishing dominance. That's what we were doing there. Yeah, that went really well. So yeah, one one uh one match in, I'm liking our deck. Bum bum bum. Even no Ashiok in the sideboard or anything like that. Ugh, still good. Well, I guess I should ask, is, is this... Is the camera taking up too much room? Now, you know, because we, we adjusted the camera, we adjusted the, the resolution settings on it. Is it taking up too much room on the battlefield now? Like what was like planeswalkers in the way or anything? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's kind of perfect. No, nope. perfect. Yeah, because then then the card on the stack is right underneath where it says the sub goal. So that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so we can discard a branch walker and go and grab wild growth and play wild growth. Because Fauna Shaman's great. Out. 
probably going to do the each player sacrifices a creature, which we'll just have to sacrifice Fauna Shaman now. Uh, we both discard a card. That's kind of rough. I like all these cards. I could discard Citadel, but Citadel's pretty great. But we obviously we are a couple of black sources away from casting it, though. Hmm. My, my plan here was to go Temple Garden, double Branch Walker. I guess I'm just going to go Jade Light. Or I could go Branch Walker plus Charming Prince. Let's just go Jade Light, though, because if they make us discard, we have more fuel to discard. See, there's Black Sources. <laughs> More Todd, less game. <laughs> oh no, I needed that. I needed that with the Citadel. That's pretty good. I'll just gain three life with the Charming Prince. I know, right? I miss the Checklands too. Uh, it's playing playing with the Checklands is so nice. Just playing, you know, Sun Petal Grove, Woodland Cemetery. So nice. There you go. Fire, Sun, Fire Song and Sunspeaker EDH with Blasmus Act. You gained 264 life. That is awesome. Hey, Plitha. How you doing? Sacrifice. 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 Yay! I don't know if my opponent realizes that, that all that did was just help me out. Alright, 17 life. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. So I can get 12, 13, 14. Um, I think kills Rankle, but I think I was just going to put in the graveyard and just because we had just so many Explorer triggers and just kind of filter through if we get more lands and stuff. So I think I want these Legion's Ends and the Choop and the Find Finality. Plague Mare is probably pretty great. Two. Um, that's kind of putting in too many cards, though, and watering down our deck a little bit here. I guess I can get rid of Reaper. So I'm thinking Legion's End because of Edgewall Innkeeper. And, like, that's what Plague Mare can, get, can kill the Innkeeper and... You know, like they make a bunch of 1-1s, one so that sounds good. I was thinking find finality, because you know they'll be killing my stuff. We'll be playing a later game. We want to find back a couple of creatures, or maybe the finality. Yeah, so like that makes a lot of sense, too. <sighs> How are we cutting four cards, though? We could cut a Soren or two. Because if we're behind, I don't know. Soren's pretty great, too, though. All our cards are good. I guess when all the cards are good, we're going to take out a Prince, a Soren. Hmm. Yeah, 
a temple garden. And a bugler. Just, I don't know, bugler's great though too. Just gotta cut something. I, th I think I really like Choop here. You know, like they're just a they're just a creature deck, and so Choop killing questing beasts and rankles, um, and even like the three mana five five killing edge wall and keeper. You know, like we just want to kill our creatures. <laughs> the cat's over there, looking at me. <laughs> He's getting his, his next resting spot on the couch. I, I hate and at the same time miss the explore package so much. I don't think the explore package is too good. I, I like the explore package more than like the than I honestly like it more than the adventure package. Like adventure like all the adventure creatures being two for ones that also have the engine cards. Nah, I, I would just take the I like the explore package more. Opponent, where'd you go? It's a little slow. Yeah, it's it's my opponent may have rage queued. Who knows? It's possible they meant to join like regular standard. Did they play anything that wasn't in standard? Like maybe they meant to join standard and accidentally joined historic. Like I didn't I didn't look at their mana base if they had like Woodland Cemetery or not. Yeah, your reward for doing explore stuff was just having a big creature and gaining a lot of life with Wild Growth Walker. The adventure cards are all just two for ones anyway, and if you don't have your Wild Growth Walker, like Edgewall Innkeeper, but if you do have it, all you do is you get to just draw a bunch of cards. Hey, Nuga Gris. All right, I guess we count that as a win. We played a played the first game, and we're two and zero. Yeah, you already missed a lot. We're almost two and a half hours into our twelve hour stream already. Playing some historic. <laughs> All that life game is pretty annoying. Sincerely, sincerely, an aggro burn player. Yeah, that. <clears throat> All that um, life gain does add up. So the branch walker should help us hit land drops. You know, like we'll have turn two wild growth. I wanted to put land war off in this deck. I just couldn't fit it in. But I wanted land war off in here.
Wow, they had Domri's ambush also? Wow. What? Why didn't they play Pelt Collector first? If they would have played Pelt Collector first, they would have at least had the Pelt Collector be a 2-2 right now. Well, that's game. <laughs> yeah. That was the nuts. Yeah, they, they should have played the Pelt Collector first and then played the Burning Trees. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn, too. If they would have played this right, they would have had two, four, seven, eight power and use a removal spell. On turn two, have eight power in play and kill your kill the wild growth walker. What? They made this haste but then didn't attack with it? Why not just make it a 3-3? Alright, there's a land drop. One more, we can play our Chupacabra. Cool. So we're gonna need some help here. That's game. I could have Soren brought back Chupacabra, kill that thing, and chump block, but I was at one, and they had the land where off to do that one extra point of damage. So I want the Knight of Autumns because those can destroy Ember Cleave. I'm, I'm very scared of Ember Cleave. Yeah, I guess Legion's End 2. Is Bugler too slow? I was thinking this could do like the finality thing at the top end. Maybe that's too slow. Yeah, it's probably too slow. No, I'm on the play. I need this land. If I was on the draw, I can take out the land. Maybe a murderous rider that's going to cost me life. And then, do I actually play Tristani? Do I play Soren? Yeah, yeah, I play Soren. Do I play Tristani? Yeah, I think I play Tristani also. Hmm. Take out the Fauna Shaman. It may not have seemed like it, but even with... Even with our mulligan and the hand my opponent had, I was 
I was very close to stabilizing. And with us missing our third land drop. I think that... I think that our deck... Over the long haul, I think our deck is pretty favored against Gruul. Like, I, I think this is a really good matchup for us. But we're not... You know, Gruul puts a lot of pressure on you. So when Gruul has a really good hand, like, they're... You know, it's going to be tough to win. But um, this is not a matchup that I would mind facing over and over again. I like how our cards line up here. But we may still lose. Maybe I shouldn't take out... I don't know. We have the Sorens and stuff. Or if I shouldn't take out Command the Dread Horde. I uh, probably should. If we win this game and then we and if we go to a game three, I'm taking out a land on the draw. That's a good card. I didn't really expect rekindling Phoenix at all, but yeah, that's true. Now now that Oko is banned, rekindling Phoenix is a lot better again. That's a good card that I did not really account for. Yay, finally land. Or finally a spell, sorry. We have land. Finally a spell. You should fear those born of darkness. To me now. I'm not really dealing with this Phoenix. I would draw more Sorens. I'm basically just, just going to race and try to go wide. So we can board out a land here on the draw. I don't really have too much at all to deal with Phoenix in general. I could play a Plague Mare that could, you know, take out the little 01 thing. Um, let's take out a Temple Garden. Basically, white is our least valuable color of mana. And Temple Garden can make, you know, shock. Can shock us. Um, maybe we just play the Murderous Rider and just kill, like, a Phoenix on end step and then untap and Chupacabra it or something. Or Legion's end the token. Or I could go find Finality. Let's do both of those. We'll take out a Bugler. Yeah, let's go, let's go with the find. As you saw there, like, 
there's a lot of attacking and blocking creatures dying. You know, find back a wild growth plus a jade light. You know, that could be a big game. <laughs> so I hope they have four burning tree emissaries. Darn, just one. At least they don't have the four mana for the Phoenix. That's a good one. Alright, hoping we draw a land. Hope we draw a non temple garden, you know, not a shock land. And we just go Walker Ranger. over for me we're still we're still doing just fine Now it's over for my opponent. Even if they would have drawn a land and played Phoenix, I would have had I would have Murderous Rider on their turn, untap Soren, minus four, bring back Chupacabra. Like that that's that would have been my plan. But now we just don't even need to do that. All right, next turn I can Soren and Swift End. All right, obviously I can just take four, NPD. All right, ten hurts a little bit more. GG. All right, three now. So we, we have a lot of good stuff for the Gruel matchup. Got a lot of good stuff there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm definitely liking this deck so far, for sure. Uh, let's go... Yeah, we'll just, let's just explore first. I don't know scrying to. Sure, I'll keep a branch walker. We can, we can just flicker a branch walker too if we want to do that. War boss. I should have been more aggressive with attacking. Probably should have attacked with this 3-2 last turn. Yeah, Charming Prince is so sweet in this deck. Yeah, this deck's sweet. Eagler's been awesome. Alright, I'm gonna need Choop to die. Gives me double black and double green. So I wanted, you know, so we could have maybe found Swift End there, the Murderous Rider. With that Bugler, that would have been ideal. Oh, right. I could just flicker Chupacabra. I don't know. I just did. I don't know why. Just that. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. I guess I will do that now. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have just done that. I was like, okay, well, I'll the Fauna Shaman and go find, like, another one. Yeah, I definitely should have just done that. All right, well, we'll do that now. <laughs> yeah, we're just singing its phrases, I know. <laughs> uh, I should have done that. Ugh. No, scavenging ooze is not in historic now. All right, extra choop. So we're on the draw. What did we do last time? So I think I took out two Bugs, a Prince, and a Temple Garden. Okay. <laughs> Mulligan. Hmm. I want to keep them all. I want to keep them all. I 
Soren's so good in this matchup, giving our creatures lifelink. And bringing stuff back that dies and everything. Soren's so good. But I guess that's the card that we're putting back. It's the one thing I, I wish I had played Llanowar Elf also. I really did wish I played Llanowar Elf. I just couldn't find room for it. Big Phoenix. All right, I'll figure out how to do deal with you, Phoenix, in a little bit. Figure it out. Land drop. That was a good draw. Hmm. That was a good draw. Definitely makes my life harder. Yeah, I have to swift end the questing beast, I think. That was another good draw. Where do you see my mate? Speaking of good draws, that was one on our side. Buys us another turn for now. I guess maybe I should have actually... Oh, no, I didn't I didn't have the, the other land. I couldn't Knight of Autumn plus Murderous Rider. I didn't have the land. Come on, Bugler. Hit something. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Wild Growth Walker! Forno! <laughs> oh, I missed that explore sound. Thanks for the cheers there, Drug Wizard. Back from the brink. Bugler hitting Jade Light. Just like we drew it up. Let's play a fifth match here. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> that was a little close. That was a little close. I 
Uh, no, I wouldn't. No, the Fauna Shaman's not a necessity. Um, you know, I like Fauna Shaman a lot, but it's not a necessity. You know, it's just a one of. That's all I found room for. That could just be a, a fourth Charming Prince also. You could do that in that slot. Uh, the Fauna Shaman looked great for us earlier. You know, we had triple Branch Walker Fauna Shaman, and we just used 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 Fauna Shaman to discard a Branch Walker and go grab a Wild Growth Walker for us. So it looked great earlier. All right, looks like we got an Explorer deck, but our opponent has Llanowar Elf, and they're on the play, so they're faster. We need to outgrind them. Boo. Well, we have our four murderous riders that we can maybe find with Bugler. Definitely a good, good hand on their part, of course. You know, Wicked Wolf on three, Nissa on four. Land or Elf speeds him up. A good amount. <laughs> we did steal that last game. Maybe we'll steal another one here. All right, good. We got the land drop. All right, good. So I went that route because going this, you know, because I'm looking for Murderous Rider, right? So going this route means that next turn I could I could Charming Prince for two mana, Flicker a Bugler to look for uh, Murderous Rider also and, and still have it. So I have some more looks towards uh, killing this Nissa before it ultimates. Yeah, I don't really care about that card. do care about is finding something here there we go maybe we'll hit a land drop also that was just a perfect turn we'll take it I mean, because we did go through, you know, like, we know the bottom six cards are not Murderous Riders, so, you know, like, we, we had gone through, like, we're getting close to half the deck before seeing a Murderous Rider, so it's not too surprising that we drew one there. Uh, 
Wow, no attacks, not even with the beast? Wow. Wow. Hmm. card's good. <laughs> They're in such a rough spot. It's like, what are they supposed to do? Block? Uh, we have we have uh, three troops, four murderous rider in the main deck. So yeah, we got troops and riders. So two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, nine, fourteen. I'll just go for it. I I could have do some more attacking. Yeah, we definitely want to do the bugler trigger first and then explore afterwards. Sure. Unfortunately, I don't have like a temple garden, so I can't play a charming prince here. Thank you. <clears throat> My heart is hollow with scorn for you. <laughs> yeah, Basker Girl, that would that would hurt a little bit. We'd probably just go, you know, we'd just be looking for another Command the Dread Horde. <clears throat> you know, we're gaining 18 life right there, and then we flicker, we gain another 18 life. Like, we're gaining 36 life that turn. So we are going to be fine. Hmm. I can't wait to thumb this up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this this deck's been awesome. Uh, let's see. I guess we get this other Chupacabra in here. I would have mind playing a Plague Mare, but I guess the only thing that we really saw Plague Mare kill was Llanowar Elf, right? Finality could be really good against Nyssa, you know, like against the Nyssa lands. Like, we may need to Finality. But there's not cards to take out. Kind of like normal. 
Our deck's too good. I guess I'll take out a prince. And... I guess Reaper or Shaman. Or Bugles. I'll just take out the Reaper. I <clears throat> I don't have too many threes compared to twos. You know, this is still you know, so if we took if we took out a two drop, you know, I, I wanna keep the you know, basically I don't want to get too loaded on three drops, basically. All right, draw some explore creatures. Maybe I could have, I could have maybe taken out a Soren, or, or I could have taken out a land with us being on the draw. Uh, whoops. Meant to play a non chalk land there, of course. That's a really good aggressive start there. Jade Light, Fauna Shaman. Yeah, so seeing Lovestruck Beast here, I probably want the Plague Mare. Plague Mare is very good against Lovestruck Beast, of course. So if that's like their sideboard plan now. Alright, so their their plan is just to get aggressive. Um Which makes sense. Which makes sense. Like, we're going to be winning a long game. I'll take out a, a four and a six drop. Hmm. Rough mana situation there. Not too much better here. Come on, black mana. Yeah. I hope they go double land or elf. Double land or elf. Do it. I shouldn't have done that, probably. Probably should have just attacked first.
All right, we need to find Chupacabra. Yep, Oko has gone from historic now. Yep. We are not doing a very good job finding Chupacabra or Murderous Rider, either one. My opponent is finding all of their Chupacabras, though, with the Wicked Wolves. Why do you have to be a 3-5, Wild Growth Walker? A 3-5. This is our third bugler to look for one of our eight removal spells, and we still haven't found one yet. Are you kidding me? We still can't find one. <laughs> we have... We've played three buglers, and, and yeah, we mulligan to this command. So this command down... Three, six, nine, ten... So, like, we know the bottom 10 cards. We've gone through basically half of our deck, and we've seen none of the eight removal spells that we could hit with Bugler. So the, the safest line is to go Charming Prince gain three, because obviously they have a removal spell here. So that's the safest line. It's just Charming Prince gain three. I think we're just going to do that. So that even if they have another removal spell for the Charming Prince, we don't just die immediately. We haven't seen wild growths either, so I was thinking maybe we draw a wild growth there. Been some pretty poor drawing for us, because we know we have a lot of lands down at the bottom. Like two of these buglers saw three lands each. Finally, a Chupacabra. Sure taking your sweet time there, Chupacabra. Sure taking your sweet time.
Yeah, getting a little late to the party over here. Obviously, I'm really scared of Questing Beasts and Nissas. Their current life total situation. So I want this Murderous Rider as as the creature out there. I want the lifelink creature in play. <laughs> Chupacabra had to eat first. That's why he's late. That's why he's late to the party. And I can't attack with the Branch Walker because of Questing Beast. Soren would be a, a really good quality draw. Yeah, I'd like a Soren a lot. Thank you. In case they have... I don't want to just go to attacks because they could just have removal for it right away. Finally started drawing our spells. Yeah, I just got to ask nicely. <laughs> this Gilly Goose is going to gain him like 30 life. That's okay. That's a bad questing beast. Bad. Go to the graveyard. Yeah, I think this goose has gained him 12 life so far. It made. I think that's their seventh food they've made with the goose. <laughs> so, yeah, just better birds of paradise. Yeah, Soren can out. Yeah, Soren's out healing the goose though, and obviously we have all these attackers. So 
even though we whiffed for a long time, the Buglers did just put a, a ton of, like the Buglers were still very good because they put a bunch of spare cards that we didn't want, you know, a bunch of lands and stuff down to the bottom. And then eventually we drew, you know, like we we hit like three or four really good draw steps in a row there. You think Mardu Angels has any chance in Historic? Maybe now that, that Oko's banned. I think Mardu Angels can, can definitely be pretty good against aggro decks. There's a lot of aggro in, in a Historic right now. So yeah, I, I think it has... Yeah. Yeah, I liked our Mardu Angels, our Mardu Kalia deck that we had at the end of last format. It wasn't really feasible with Oko in the format, turning your angels into into uh, into three threes. Yeah, they could have fine finality. We'll just leave those in hand. Did we just get to Mythic? Wow. 5 0 to Mythic. A 5 0 to Mythic with Abzan Bugler. This deck was sweet. Five O to Mythic. Where did it say we are? Number 681. Cool. No, historic and standard are the same ladder. The same constructed ladder. Yep, there it's just one. It's one thing. It's just constructed. Alright, so that's Absam Bugler. Awesome, awesome deck here. This deck was was great. Um yeah, as you, we played against a whole lot of Gruul and just other green creature decks, and this, you know, we had a really good time against the other green creature decks with us having all these murderous riders, the chupacabras. Um, everything worked really well. Charming Prince flickering stuff. Bugler was an all star. Soren bringing stuff back. Command the Dread Horde was obviously just amazing, um, especially against the Cathis deck. Command the Dread Horde was amazing. Even Fauna, Fauna Shaman, as we talked about earlier, we had a handful of Branch Walkers. We got to discard a Branch Walker, go grab a Wild Growth. Yeah, like this just you know, when you have a lot of different utility creature cards being able to turn you know a branch walker into a chupacabra because you need that or maybe you need a, a murderous rider so you go discard your charming prince and go grab a murderous rider to kill a planeswalker i really like this one of Sh fauna shaman in here um so yeah everything everything works works really well here so pretty good looking historic deck we played a lot of really close matches we were definitely fortunate at in spots um, there's a couple of spots where we need our opponent to like hit a land or two and they did. And then I drew a spell or two and, and, you know, we pulled away, um, a lot of really close games could have gone the other way, but, but we got them and we got a five Oh here. Awesome. So there's Abzan Bugler, really cool historic deck here. Uh, liked this one a lot. We'll have to bring this one back here soon. Uh, y'all on YouTube, let me know in the comments, let me know what you thought about the deck and everything like that. And if you're trying the deck out also, those of y'all on Twitch or on YouTube, you know, leave leave a uh, comment on the uh, in the YouTube uh, videos and let me know how you're liking the deck and how it's going for you. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Bugler, and I'll see you for the next video.